Now it's time for How Pro Is That? Green ready for his 90th pitch. Check swing, seem to go. Yes! 14 strikeouts! No Red has done that in over two decades. There are several folks in this lineup that don't want to ever see Hunter Green again. How pro is that? We are now pleased to welcome in Hunter Green to Intentional Talk. That was last Wednesday when you struck out a career-high 14 against the Ooh. Twins. Uh, is an 18 or 19 strikeout game in the future, Hunter? Maybe 20? You know, only four guys have had Ooh. a 20 strikeout would... game. Is Hunter Green going to be the fifth? Yeah, I was wondering what the record was. Um, maybe a little bit more focus. I, I was at a good pitch count, but... Yeah, just uh, maybe an extra inning would have would have helped with that. <laughs> isn't, isn't that something too? That's a lot of strikeouts. 14 strikeouts is a lot. 20 seems like you know so far down the road. But what you it's do on the field up. is 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 awesome. But what you're doing off the field, um, the work that you do with your charity and your charitable work away from kind of the field, and what you do bringing people to the ballpark. Talk about being the Cincinnati Reds Roberto Clemente Award nominee. Like how special that is to you. Yeah, thank you. Um, obviously, an amazing honor, uh, you know, for the Reds organization to look at me in that light. Uh, you know, we have a lot of players on this team that like to take time out of their day and, you know, a lot of family guys that have families on this team. And, you know, they're willing to go to the Reds Youth Academy or do uh, any type of charitable work or philanthropy at our stadium and beyond. So uh, to kind of be tapped as that guy for the team means a lot. I don't I don't take it lightly. So. Um, it's, it feels great. <laughs> no doubt about it. Staying with the charity work. And last Friday, you had a chance. You did the, some with the Joseph House and the Veterans of Cincinnati, and you had an ice cream social. Tell us about this event. Yeah, that, that was great. Uh, I'm kind of putting my head together with my pops on uh, Grater's ice cream. Man, it is, it's my favorite ice cream that I've ever had. And uh, it's cool to have it in the city. Uh, makes it easy, but it's hard to lay off of it. You know, every, it's so convenient to have so many locations throughout Cincinnati and Kentucky. Um, but yeah, with, with doing it with the veterans, and I feel like that's a community that's, uh, it's, you know, the, the focus isn't there enough. Um, so, you know, being able to dedicate some time out of, out of my day uh, to be able to acknowledge them and to thank them for their service and to, uh, you know, enjoy some conversation with them and have some great ice cream. Uh, it was a beautiful event, and, and the Reds helped a lot with that. And there, it was very, very well organized, and uh, the company and the conversation was amazing. Favorite ice mm -hmm. cream flavor, Hunter? Uh, I, uh, cookies and cream or Oreo. You know, everybody says it differently, but that's probably my favorite. Uh, but Graders just came out with their pumpkin flavor for the season, Ooh. so I can't wait to to uh, treat myself ah. to the to the pumpkin flavor. Hey, I know a guy on your team used to eat ice cream, then he got all fit and in shape in his later years. Fellow Canadian Joey Votto. Um, you kind of got to be able to sit back. Yeah. And, and I remember Pudgy Joey, you know, when he ate a lot of ice cream, but not anymore. He's fit Pudgy Joey Joe. and he looks great. But an icon, right? Like this guy, this guy is a Cincinnati Red icon. He'll, he'll be enshrined in the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. What's it been like as a young guy to watch a guy like Joey go about his business, come back from surgery, all these things? And what have you learned from him? Can you just talk about being a teammate of Joey Votto? Yeah, it's such a, I mean, from day one, you know, when I was drafted, um, you know, extremely personable and, uh, you know, the, the interactions that we've had together, uh, I kind of had to feel it out at first. You know, I'm, I'm, I was a new guy, uh, just drafted. Obviously, I wanted to have a good first impression with him and with the rest of, uh, you know, the, the team in big league spring training. But, uh, he's been nothing but the best, you know, on and off the field, you know, to see his discipline, his hard work and uh, the sacrifice, you know, that, that he gives, you know, to, to be the best on the field. And um, I mean, he still amazes us, you know, whether it's playing first base and being able to get to a ball or going from first to third yesterday and, uh, you know, a couple of times before in our last series and him uh, obviously being able to still swing it, man. It's, it's been really fun to watch and a true blessing to be able to play with him. No doubt about it. Now, let's stay with teammates. Give me a couple guys that you'd have some fun striking out. I mean, I know there's always spring training smack talk, which I always joke around. The pitchers have <laughs> such a great advantage. The first three days, you make us all want to quit hitting because it's like fastball, we're just gone. But as an active player, and you had a chance to strike out a couple of your teammates, give me a couple names that you'd love to strike out. 
Uh, the, man, the first one that comes to mind is is Jake Fraley. He's gonna hate me for saying this if he sees this, but uh, <laughs> he's watching. Uh, right he now. came up to me. Yeah, he came up to me early in spring and was like, "Hey, you think you could strike me out?" I think he said, "Can you strike me out or get a fastball by me?" I, I forget which one he said, but I was like, "Of course," you know, the the utmost confidence of you know being a professional player and all that stuff. So I was like, "Yeah, let's you know let's do it." And I think we had a live like maybe a week or two after that conversation and. Uh, I struck him out for one at bat. I think the next one, the next at bat, he says he hit it to center field off the wall. I don't remember that. Um, <laughs> and then I think the, the, yeah, the the third at bat I think was a pop up or something. So I definitely won won the battle there. But uh, obviously a great player and a uh, really fun dude to have on the team. Uh, I can't think yeah. of any other guys that I've really been able to to face like that. I think most of the guys I faced in spring, um, it was their first time in big league camp. So, you know, double-A, triple-A guys yeah. coming up and, uh, you know, getting the feel. I I've always wanted to, to face Joey, and obviously his uh, his play discipline and his pitch selection is, you know, uh, one of the best in the mm -hmm. game. So I I'd love to see and at bat against him. You know, hopefully I'll be able to do that next spring training. I know he's going to want to come back and, uh, and help us out again next year. Mm, okay. Well, before we ask you to unveil a secret, we had a few of your teammates on this year. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know their secrets? TJ Friedel told us that he played an instrument, and Will Benson told us something he does not eat. Do you know what they are? No. Oh man, we do. I think we do the instrument one at our stadium. Uh, players come up on the jumbotron and say the instrument they play or used to play. Uh, man, I can't remember his. I need to know Will's though. That's my guy. What did Will say? Okay, so Friedel plays the ukulele. Oh wow. wow. I mean, I, Benson I I couldn't see mm -hmm. that. doesn't eat dessert. Uh, oh, oh yeah. man, Bench. That, I really, that's, that's what he I said, he doesn't kid, eat dessert? The, he doesn't that eat dessert. That is true. Yeah. I, is that a lie? I've gone out with him. No, I've gone out with him a lot of times for dinner. and I mean, he's shredded, too. I've known Will since we were, like, 15, and uh, he's pretty good at what he eats and puts into his body, so I definitely believe that. So Hunter, he's not, gotta, I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I w we had him on, and I loved every bit of the interview, and he was so awesome. And then he said that, and I don't know if we can talk anymore. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to treat him to some to some graders now. I'm gonna I'm gonna put yeah. his, just keep uh, putting in his locker. A just pint of ice cream his in his locker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just keep yeah. Yeah. keep chipping away. Yeah. That's all we can ask for, Hunter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, before we let you go, it is time to, for you to reveal a secret about yourself. Hunter Green, what yeah. is your secret? Yeah. I was trying to figure this out earlier. I knew you were going to ask me this because I think you asked me before. Um, it's not really a secret. I mean, I, I got a couple. I paint. I love to paint. I um, like okay. to call myself an artist, so that's kind of like my, my off-the-field thing. Uh, but I think a lot of people know that just from the other interviews I've done. Uh, and I used to play the violin, so I'll give you those two. Ooh, the violin. There we go. Nice. There we go. You and you and Frito can yeah. start a band together. Start a band. <laughs> you and TJ. The ukulele right is a big surprise. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that. I, I couldn't see that, but uh, good for him. Yeah, you're gonna have to ask for him to bring it on on the plane sometime. Although that might be annoying. <laughs> He's a great yeah. DJ though. So. Or you could get a band together. Hey, well, that's, hey. that's an important part of a team. Yeah. A good DJ is a must. You on the violin, <laughs> TJ on the ukulele. You guys are almost there. I don't know if that would sound good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, thank you so much for coming on the show, and good luck down Thanks, the stretch. Hunter. Thank you, guys. Thanks, thank pal. you. I appreciate it.